Hey everyone, today what we're going to do is we're going to sketch up some thumbnails, okay? Now, thumbnails are preliminary sketches that are small, okay? What I have right here is, these are, um, this is a four up template, okay? Each one of these would be uh, considered like your canvas, okay? But you can fit four on a page so you can kind of sketch out different ideas. Now, underneath this, Okay, underneath these uh, squares here that are little uh, frames, I guess you call them, is a Fibonacci spiral. Okay, and they're sort of turned different ways, if you notice that. Now, if you've taken graphic design courses, you know that the Fibonacci spiral is used to help you find a, a focal point. Okay, the focal point, say like it's here on this one, here on this one, here on this one, and here on that one. Okay. And uh, it's just a tool that designers use to lead the eye where you want across a composition to the focal point. Okay, so uh, using this, let's start sketching out some designs. Oh, by the way, this template is found on the uh, module for this week in, uh, on the class Moodle page. Now, notice too that uh, in our uh, layers palette over here, all of these. Uh, layers are locked okay which is fine okay that's they're supposed to be like that so you don't draw over top of them and kind of mess yourself up so what you want to do before you start is just click this little plus sign here and that will create a uh a new layer a little lag time going on here there we go layer one as a matter of fact i'm going to call this uh sketch just going to rename it okay just by double clicking on the name you can rename it okay and uh, yes let's start thinking about some ideas what i'm going to use uh, as a subject matter are the same characters that i was uh, playing around with in our uh, initial exercise okay um like i said i've got a project coming up uh for a for a buddy of mine who well, he's been a publisher that i've worked with for 30 years now and so I'm going to do a little story for him featuring these characters. Uh, anyway, so let's let's start sketching out, sketching out some ideas. I've got a I got a plot line that I already have worked out, so I kind of know what I want to do here. And I think in this case, if my focal point is here, you know, I want to decide what my focus is going to be. So I'm going to start sketching out some some rough ideas. Now this. Uh, you know, your thumbnails can be really rough, okay? And that's fine. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch out the, uh, the, the bad guy who's kind of a sorcerer kind of thing. All right, and have that be the focal point for this thing. Yeah, it can be really rough. It's fine. Have this sort of like him, like he's casting a spell or something, you know. But, all right, and then have this sort of fade off, maybe, and have the uh, the main character sort of. Now, what I want to think about this is the focal point here, but I want to have uh, things kind of leading up to that. So I'm going to have the taller character. Let's say right here, it's a little bit sloppy there. Again, just, you know, you can keep these really rough. The taller character with his sword. Here, let's say. And notice how I uh, am having his, the character's body sort of echo what is going on with the flow here and then this guy's gonna be facing the bad guy this guy the main character which uh, is the little short guy maybe have him facing the audience so we know that that's that's the main character 
kind of a let's get out of here scoob kind of a thing maybe uh. yeah Okay, and a little cliff base right here, that sort of thing. Okay, so that's one. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, all right, let's try another one here. Um, there's also going to be some monsters in this, so what if I had the, uh, the main character in the clutches of a monster here? So I'm going to kind of have this idea in my head where... He's kind of being picked up and hurled around by some sort of tentacled beast. And let's have uh, the, so he's going to be the focal point right here. You know, if you're not straight on to this thing, if you're in the general area, area you know, that's, that's good enough. Um, let's have his buddy, who is more of the warrior type, right here. Swinging a sword. And again, you can keep this pretty rough. These are just for your own references. So you can kind of figure out how you want to have your page set up before you start sketching out. Okay, because you want to have things figured out beforehand. Okay, and over here, then, we're going to have the bad guy, same bad guys over here, with his uh, crazy collar and, you know, a spell here. Oh, and you know what, let's let's throw in some, uh, some monster things here. So let's, bleh. my idea for the monster is kind of a big slug, so actually we'll put in more than one. We'll put in another one over, over here, let's say the coils of the things around here they're like in a pit or something and then the something like that again really rough you don't have to sketch in all the details just kind of give yourself a rough idea of what you want to have and where okay now let's see let's go back to this one here uh, let's try this. We'll have the monster be here. And we're going to try something. We're going to have some forced perspective stuff going on here. Where... The main character is really big in the foreground. And then, then maybe have his buddy back here, you know, engaging in battle, much like in the uh, previous one here, that'd be the sword kind of not going through his head, but you get the idea. Monster. I don't know. This this one, uh, I'm not wild about the ones where the main character looks like a looks like a chicken or a coward. So, well, we'll see. So these be way in the foreground. This could be way in the background. Yeah. So another idea right there. Okay. And another monster. Okay. Then finally we'll. Let's see, let's try something a little bit different. Uh, let's... Ah, here we go. Let, let's do this. Let's have the monster in the foreground. Uh, or one of them, anyway. Big slug. Coils here, other than that. And then over here we'll have...
our main character there. Looking all ah, and then buddy right here, getting ready to engage. Something like that. Oh, and then we could also have the the bad guy like faintly in the background, sort of like you know the whole floating head thing that uh, they do in movie posters and stuff sometimes. So the focal point being right there, okay? So, like I said, these, these can be, you know, really rough, really sketchy. They're sort of, there's just sort of a way of working out ideas, okay? Um, and for this uh, thing we're doing this time around, I, I want you to get in the habit of doing um, thumbnails to, uh, you know, to just explore ideas and different ways of sort of laying them out and stuff, okay? Um, it's always a good idea. And then, and then you just wind up picking the one that you think works the best, okay? So um, the, um, the assignment, uh, as far as thumbnails are concerned, is to do a minimum of uh, at least four, like you see here. Okay, you can execute them in uh, pencil, print them out and print out the template and do it in pencil, or uh, you know you can do it digitally like I did here. This was just Photoshop, you know. Um, it's uh, you know pretty uh, you know a, a pretty straightforward kind of thing. Uh, the the main goal here is I want to see that you're thinking through the process, okay, and considering different options for your composition. All right. Uh, now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pick one of these and probably sketch it out in pencil because that's the way I, I tend to work. And we'll, we'll pick it up there. Okay. All right. Talk to you later.